Hey guys, I'm supposed to be at AWP this weekend, or I was. I was going to be at AWP this weekend. If you cannot tell, this is not AWP. I am in our office, in our condo. I know it has been a hot minute. I'm not sure exactly how long, uh, but it's been a hot minute since I did any videos. I'm really sorry. A lot has changed, including we now live in a condo in West Asheville and we are really loving it. I will do maybe like a tour of our space. We've really made it feel like home. We also have two cats and I'll put pictures up. We're obsessed with them, Gator and Minnow. Gator had to go to the vet today, guys. Anyway, so originally I was gonna be at AWP this week and then that wasn't able to happen. So I told myself, you know what? Let me just give myself a three day weekend from work anyway and treat Friday as a writing day. It's like one o'clock right now, it's Friday. Um, and so far no writing has commenced because let me tell you all, my husband and I are hopefully on the tail end of a string of bad luck. Uh, one of our cars, rest in peace, like she's gone, okay? The engine blew up, she's gone. She was 19 years old. Um, so we're waiting to get a new car now. And then our other car was in the shop, very expensive repairs. And then our little tuxi has been sick. So no writing has commenced yet, but we're here now. We're ready. I'm working on my Bigfoot project still. So since I saw you last, four months past Florence came out and I picked back up from the draft of my Bigfoot project that I had written like two summers ago. I think it was summer 2021, so almost three years ago. And I really hated it, you guys. And I'm not just saying that to be self-deprecating. I was like, oh, we need to start over. So I have uh, my Save the Cat, rewriting that entire beat sheet. We are starting all the way from square one. Did I say square one? That's what you say, right? It's not square zero. Anyway, we're all the way back to the beginning. We're about 4,500 words in. And I think I'm gonna just vlog what I can right this weekend, knowing we're having card trouble, knowing that we're gonna have to like, I'll save you, I'll save you the whole thing, but send some good energy our way, please. It's been a rough five weeks, ever since the start of 2024, it's been a little rough. But I'm not focusing on word count necessarily. I'm not focusing on like time spent, even though I would have loved to have spent from nine to five working in a coffee shop today. That's just not the way the cookie crumbled. But I'm focusing a lot more on presence when I approach the page instead of productivity. So let's make a cup of decaf coffee. I'm trying to get back to more acceptable levels of caffeine consumption. Let me know how much caffeine you drink. Is it more when you're writing? Let me know. That might make me feel better. <laughs> let's make some decaf and then we'll pick back up. It's been about 30 minutes. I got 223 words in. I'm gonna take a break. I may or may not come back later to this project, but I had a protagonist write a sonnet of her own in English class. I know I said that I am completely rewriting this project. I am, it's still focused on a protagonist who is struggling with health anxiety and who also is obsessed with finding Bigfoot. And I'm really, really excited because there is an honest to goodness plot twist in this book now that was not in the first draft. I've never written a plot twist. I'm really, really excited to have folks um, 
read along one day and discover it. If you do want to check out any of these pages early, I share every month just a few pages from this work in progress on my Patreon. So that will be linked down below if you want to get some behind the scenes insights into the story and the character as we go. Here is a quick desk tour as promised. We've got some of my favorite books in this side. And these, these are mine, my two little chap books, Yalubi and Four Months Past Florence. We've got some flowers my husband gave me, my laptop, the Christmas cat mug y'all saw me drinking out of, um, you know, just random office stuff. Got some witchy shit in this corner here. Um, I haven't started reading these books yet, but these are two books that I just got from Black Lawrence Press. It's my favorite press. I talk about it all the time. Up here, I've got um, Yannick cross-stitched from my friend Liz. We went to grad school together. Got some Punch Bucket Lit stickers, the nonprofit in West Asheville. I used to serve on their board. Got some more books, got some Marie Lafarge. That collection's currently on submission right now, so put some good luck out for that. We've got the goddess herself, Stevie Nicks up above. We've got an orchid <laughs> that I can never, I can never get orchids to flower. Um, we've got my first chapbook framed. That was a gift from my mother-in-law. And then down here it gets slightly messier. You can see a few more of my favorite books. Um, some kid books we inherited from a friend that I thought might as well just take. This is my storyboard. You can see some loose index cards have fallen at the bottom. My cats like to attack this board. And then you'll see quite a few extra copies of Four Months Past Florence. So if anybody would like to purchase a autographed copy, I can send that over to you. I'll leave the link on my website um, to reach out to me and we can get that sent your way. Good morning, friends. It is Saturday, February the 10th. I It's now like 10 o'clock. I'm going to go to Pollen, which is now my favorite coffee shop in all of Asheville. It's in West Asheville. It's a floral shop, like a florist shop inside of a coffee shop. It's a little bit loud. It's a little bit cramped. We'll see how much footage I can get inside. I'm really not good at vlogging um, inside because I get nervous. Um, and I just want to give people their privacy. My friend Kennedy called me out on one of my earlier vlogs about checking out coffee shops in Asheville. And he's like, you didn't show us anything. You gave us nothing. I've been awake since 5 a.m., which is not normal, especially for a Saturday. Um, not by choice. Not because I was like, ooh, 5 a.m. writer's club. No, because our cat is getting worse. We took him to the vet yesterday, got him antibiotics, and his hot spots had all started to heal over. And then for the first time in 10 days, I woke up this morning to the sound of him scratching. And I reached over to like pet him to offer him some comfort. And I noticed that he had scratched himself out of his cone and he has scratched off all of his gaps. So like all of the healing that had happened over the last few days is now gone. And the spots look bad, y'all. They don't look good. So our vets closed on the weekend. We called the animal hospital and the animal hospital was like, no, it's fine. Like he has antibiotics. Make sure he doesn't get out of the cone again. As long as it's not bleeding, then it'll be fine. And if he's not better by Monday, then call your vet again. So we're just tired of him not feeling well. We're tired of him not feeling well. Um, this has nothing to do with my writing, but if you are a pet owner, you know this is day 10 of him not feeling well, which sucks. It's painful to watch your pet be in pain. We're still waiting for our second car also to come in. We know that it's in the actual store, so we might be able to pick it up today. Who knows? Maybe a next vlog uh, you'll see me in that car, but for now we're going to go to Pollen and I'm going to get a rose and cardamom latte and get that second boost of caffeine before we start writing more about Bigfoot.
right friends it's just after 12 i got some good writing done in pollen i hope you enjoyed the footage i tried to be diligent and stretch my comfortability levels by actually filming <laughs> in the shop. I hit the 5,000 word mark, which is really exciting. I'm currently in the debate if y'all follow Save the Cat. Although um, I took time this morning, I was there for quite a while because I took time to read through everything I had already written. It's about 65 pages so far in a Word document, 5,000 words like I mentioned. I'm in the middle of the debate but I'm worried that I, I plotted this entire book out to be about 35,000 words. That's what my agent recommends for a young adult novel in verse. But I'm just hitting the 5,000 word mark and I'm wondering if I should adjust the expectations um, and have the narrative be 30,000 words instead because I feel like I'm running a little bit short and I don't want to stretch out a beat unnecessarily. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. But I am really excited about it. Like I mentioned, there's a plot twist. <laughs> so lame. I'm so lame. I'm so excited, but I'm really excited about it. There's a plot twist and I just texted my uh, best friend and I was like, hey girl, you want to read my like first 65 pages? And she said yes. And she's great at jazzing me up. So hopefully she enjoys that. I am going to run to Target now, get some groceries. We did get a text message that our car is ready. Um, our new to us car. So it's a new to us car it's a prius we have a prius now but this is a prius prime our prius now is 2013 we're gonna get a 2018 car because um interest rates but that'll be exciting maybe the next writing vlog i'll be in that my husband it does sleep until the mid-afternoon though because he works the night shift and he got home at like 8 a.m so i'll probably go to target eat some lunch go to the gym and then maybe we'll pick up our new car Tomorrow's also the Super Bowl. Eli and his whole family are Bills fans. So, um, you know, I feel nonchalant about it like I do most sports. But I may or may not vlog tomorrow. Um, if I don't, then thanks so much for hanging out. Um, I hope you're excited about this project too. Let me know what you're working on down below. And I hope something really poetic happens to you today. Hello. The people want to meet you. Can you say hello?